Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 25th, 2022. Well, holy cow, what a wild ride we had yesterday on Wall Street with the market whipsawing over a thousand points down and reversing back up to close the day in the green, all four indexes to the upside. Unfortunately, that volatility looks like it is going to extend into today with a gap down at the open, looking like we have um, that set up for today. So how about we take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today on the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, top of the morning to everyone this morning. Thanks for being here. I do really appreciate it. My goodness, what a wild day yesterday was. But, you know, we were able to pull some uh, money out of this um, with this wild gyration in the right way options team. Um, had a really nice... Um, um, push with some bull put credit spreads on a couple indexes, some straight up calls on the diamonds index uh, that we ended up closing in a day trade because of the huge move and the volatility that was created in there. So we made some money yesterday. That's always nice when the market's like this. But let's take a look at how we may want to approach the market today. First off, let's take a look at our overall circumstance here. Certainly this pushback uh, yesterday, we had a little bit of what I like to call capitulation. This is a capitulation move in the market where all of those um, weak hands, the buy the dip buyers, every, everyone else just finally gave up and bailed on the market. And we sold, 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 sold hard. And then all of a sudden we started to rush back in uh, to this market yesterday pushing back up but unfortunately we really didn't solve too much of anything here on the day we did close the gap which was nice but if we take a look here in the chart and we start looking through some of these resistance areas notice we still have significant levels of price resistance right in this area and if we're able to get going back to the upside we have even uh, just a huge number of price resistance resistance levels above to be paid attention to in this chart as we try or if we try to rally back up and that's still a little bit uncertain because of the data that we have coming today and we'll talk about that in just a moment but one thing I will say guys is this downtrend is so extreme in this move this panic sell-off here is so extreme I would expect some kind of rally back if nothing else a little bit of a consolidating move to kind of settle this out and rest in here but um, it's likely going to be very volatile and very challenging um, as we move forward here with lots of uncertainties coming um, just around the corner let's take a look at that spy SPY, we also see that capitulation here in the SPY. By the way, here is our SPY credit spread that we ended up picking up um, in the trade and uh, finished the day up 40% um, on that credit spread in one day. But as you can see right in here, pretty ugly, ugly setup here. That capitulation took us right down into this price support of the chart before we found some buyers and starting started to pick back up but let's keep in mind guys we're a long ways from being out of the woods here if you notice we have some significant price resistance levels in the chart uh, if we start progressing back up to the upside and I would say that there is a high probability that we get some upside move and a little bit of a relief rally here eventually in the market as soon as we can clear some of these uncertainties of the FOMC and and some of these uh, bigger earnings reports but watch that that closely as we rally back as we push back up just keep in mind we'll be pushing back up into big levels of price resistance or 
50 day moving average pushing down here in that chart and by the way if we take a look at that diamonds notice as we rally back up if it takes a while for us to rally back into here we really do run that risk where that 50 day moving average could push down and maybe even cross down through that 200 day moving average unless we see a major surge back to the upside it let's take a look at the qqq qqq is our worst um, index here however we did pick up a bull put credit spread here on uh, the qqq yesterday and finished the day up better than 30 percent on the day on that qqq spread but let's take a look we found this level of price support in the chart and we have uh, we crossed back above this little resistance area but oh my goodness we have some big resistance levels in this chart to overcome a lot of work needs to be done here and of course as we start entering big tech earnings just expect this to remain volatile you know with the disappointment that we saw in um, Netflix there certainly is a lot of uncomfortableness about how some of these big techs will report and being such giant companies um, they can have massive effects on the market remember a few guys uh, a few uh, a few weeks back where I said just imagine what happens if big tech starts to sell well now we don't have to imagine we've kind of seen that and we can see all the damage in this chart that has been created also if we take a look at the technicals here notice that that 50-day moving average is turning sharply south and we if we unless we rally straight back up which is probably going to be unlikely this time but we'll want to watch that closely because we really could set up that situation in a rally back where we get that 50-day moving average crossing down in here creating a major zone of resistance in the chart and then of course let's take a look at that Russell the Russell boy this guy is one really weak chart um, here was another credit spread that I laid out I didn't actually get filled on a trade on that but as you can see we have um, a substantial resistance level in that chart above and unfortunately even though we're bouncing right in here we have a little teeny tiny price support in here but notice as we rally back up this is going to be a major area of resistance in the chart and if we take a look at um, our technicals here 50 crossing well down through our 200 day moving average so as we rally back just notice if we can get a rally back up into here we're going to run into a major zone of price and technical resistance in the chart up in this area could be pretty challenging for us to move back through those levels um, let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX certainly got fearful yesterday um, as we spiked up hitting about 38 handles in the chart but that big rally back yesterday pulled us back we closed right there around a 30 handle um, so a nice little improvement in fear but with a 30 handle VIX we still have very wide bid ask spreads uh, particularly in the option markets so, um, um, option uh, contracts are very very expensive as a result of that implied volatility and we have some major challenges still ahead in this market with economic and um, FOMC information coming our way let's keep in mind that if we can get more of a rest in here if we can get a little bit of a turnaround Tuesday going and push back we still have some major levels of price support in this chart and this upside trend to contend with as we pull back um, in that uh, VIX but let's watch that closely um, probably a lot of volatility still on the day making it very very challenging for traders let's take a look at our T2122 now T2122 has been the best indicator I, I have ever seen for letting us know when we're overbought or oversold in the market and even with that thousand point rally I want you to notice here we are still oversold on this pullback and this is a short-term reading so we pushed back up on that move but we were so extremely oversold in that capitulation sell-off that um, that's what made that opportunity for those good buy entries um, yesterday for the rally so I have a pretty high confidence in t2122 and I see the possibility that we could still push to the upside even though it's likely going to be very very volatile 
capital, push to the upside, relieve this selling pressure for just a bit, um, depending on how some of this data rolls out. Of course, we still have lots of uncertainties as that data rolls out that can continue to create quite a, a bit of volatility. So we'll have to stay on our toes as traders. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108 um, yesterday pushing down and got a little bit of turn back to the upside. But let's notice here this morning as we come into the market today, um, less than 25% of our stocks are above the 40 day moving average. And we continue to maintain this overall downtrend here in uh, the chart. But we can hold on to a little bit of hope that we held on to some price support in here. So we could start to see a little bit of relief back to the upside. I cer certainly wouldn't want to suggest that this says that we're going to rip back to the upside, but maybe a little relief coming in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 created a new low um, yesterday and it did turn back up just right at the end of the day. Um, only 28% of our stocks holding above our 200 day moving average. We continue in this ugly, ugly downtrend um, in T2107. So although we are due for a relief rally, just keep in mind that as we rally back, we still have lots of resistance in this chart above. And then our T2101 um, really surged strongly yesterday to the upside. So here we are in this wild volatility. We're pushing back above this big wedging pattern and we're back above this price support. Remember, we will typically see um, surges to the upside like this on a selling wave. And if we start getting some buying wave, that should start to pull back and rest in here. So let's watch that closely. But once again, volatility is likely to remain quite high for a period of time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar has a couple things that really could cause some turmoil here this morning. First, we have Case Shiller, and we know that inflation is starting to impact uh, um, consumers' habits here. And that Case Shiller number could be interesting today um, as that reports. Will we start to see a pullback in home prices? That'll be interesting. As you can see right here, the Econo Day consensus is actually looking for home prices to move higher. Um, they have missed on some big reports here recently, so watch that carefully and closely. You know, for an example, let's take a look at the PMI composite yesterday on how badly they missed that report. The consensus was at 56.7, came in at 50.8. So pretty substantial miss there on the PMI. And then later on at 10 a.m. Eastern time, probably the more important number of the day is that consumer confidence. And it's going to be really interesting to see with the inflation impacts uh, uh, to the consumer, whether we'll actually hold up as strongly as consensus is suggesting up there around 100. 11.9 um, that could easily come in at a miss so watch that carefully that could create some market gyrations as well if that consumer confidence number were to miss now keep in mind guys as we move forward tomorrow we've got our big day tomorrow we've got our FOMC the Mac Daddy of the week right in here could be pretty interesting and create lots of volatility in the price action and one of the things that you might actually see is a little volatility in this morning as we react to some of the earnings, some of the events here today, and then see the market just go absolutely stale as we wait for these details. Remember, after the bell today, we have a Microsoft report also creating that big anticipation or uncertainty in the market. So watch those things closely as we move forward. Plan your risk carefully. And then if we take a look at that earnings calendar, oh my goodness, we have a busy day today. And of course, I mentioned this already, um, we have the report after the bell today at Microsoft. And you can just kind of imagine the palpable uncertainty that is coming in on this report. Everyone wants to believe that Microsoft is going to report well. I even want to believe that Microsoft will, will, will report well because that's kind of the habit of this country, company. But at the same time, we have that uncertainty, that worry after Netflix 
What if it misses? What if it disappoints? What if it doesn't produce a blowout earnings report that the markets have kind of gotten used to here recently and just kind of falters and stalls? So watch that carefully and closely. That could be an interesting um, um way to take a look at what happens on Wednesday. Will we get a nice pop or will we see some ugliness after that report? Now, for the rest of the numbers here today, please keep in mind, guys, I can't cover all of the earnings reports here today. There's just too many to cover. So if you want to catch that full list, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog where I have a list of those earnings reports. And there's going to be quite a few market movers here today. We've got a 3M report coming in. Looks like 3M's getting a nice pop here this morning. We're going to hear from American Express today. Um, we're going to hear from um, some railroads in here today. Canadian National will be reporting. We're going to get a report from General Electric. We're going to hear from Texas Instruments today. Um, we're going to get some um, Lockheed Martin will be in here reporting. We've got J and J um, on the reports. So we've got a lot going on here today. Um, and if you want to catch that full list, make sure you go back to the blog. A lot of movement around, which increases that uncertainty and that price volatility. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy and helpful, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to say I apologize yesterday. Obviously, the market was really, really volatile, and I was spending extra time um, with the Right Way Options members yesterday so we could kind of time out some of these trades. And um, so I didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday. I do apologize. I will be back on the case today. Um, if you guys um, have any questions um, um, that you would like me to cover, also please leave those in the comments. I would love to see if I can provide some content that would be useful or helpful to you if you have additional questions. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. The market is so incredibly volatile right now. There is an awful lot of danger here. However, uh, saying that, there was some nice little bounce back rallies yesterday in several areas. Let's take a look at some defensive sector stocks first. Let's take a look at General Mills. General Mills, although it was pretty volatile yesterday, ended up holding up quite well in the chart. A good dividend payer hanging in there nicely. We could say the same about Hershey. It got a little volatile in that capitulation sell-off yesterday, but notice held up really well overall, continuing to maintain this upside trend in the chart. I do think that is worth continuing to keep an eye on. You might also want to keep an eye on Schmuckers. SJM. SJM. A little bit of volatility in there yesterday for sure and for certain, but we held some support levels in here, rallied back, and this still has that opportunity to set up to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Now at the same time, there are some out there like um, CPB. CPB gives that impression that we could kind of go either direction here, maybe a little head and shoulders type top, uh, possibly setting up in here on that chart. But that possibility, because we rally back so strongly here on the day, that this CPB could continue moving to the upside. So keep a close eye on some of those stocks. I did see like, um, Stocks like Starbucks had a really good day yesterday um, on that recovery. Big old bullish engulfing candle. Now certainly this is right down here on a major support area in the chart. Um, this needs some follow through to maybe confirm some upside. And for me, the way I want to trade these guys, and this is the pattern that I always trade, I want to see that downtrend break. I want to see that higher low come into play. And then I'm going to be looking for entries into some of 
of these positions as they try to move back to the upside. So watch some of those closely. Now I've got to tell you guys, there's still going to be an awful lot of opportunity for shorting, I think, coming up in the market. When we see these indexes rally back to resistance areas, we're going to want to be looking for um, some of those failure patterns in the charts. Take a look at like um, Archer Daniels. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When we rally back into a downtrend and price resistance in the chart, that's where we want to be looking for um, um, those kind of um, sell-offs in here. So watch that carefully. Um, and AMD is just one of those classic failure patterns in a chart that certainly played out uh, very well for those who took that short. So watch that. Any of those rally backs in here that continues to show that resistance, we could progress in downtrends as we have broken down in these charts. So be very, very careful here as we rally back to those resistance levels and maybe start looking for some of those failure patterns rather than just thinking about rushing straight into long trades and nothing else maybe pick up a little bit on either side of those uh, market moves because there could be a lot of volatility still ahead. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very, very best today. And thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys are so kind. I truly appreciate all the kind support. Thank you so much. And if you want to support this channel um, through, um, you know, not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and want to support this kind of content, you can certainly do that through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video. I truly, truly appreciate everyone who has participated in that. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning for that FOMC. Take care, guys.